thank you for the uh, for our ancestors, these patriots that fought here on this field, Lord, to uh, do your guidance, help provide us with this country we enjoy today. Father, we just pray for the proceedings here today. Pray that everything will be pleasing to you, Lord. Father, we ask all these things in Jesus' name. as high as it'll go. Okay. All right. Calling our pledge. Calling our pledge. It is in your program. Please join me. We, the descendants of the heroes of the American Revolution, who by their sacrifices established the United States of America, reaffirm our faith in the principles of liberty and our constitutional republic and solemnly pledge ourselves to defend them against every foe. It's to honor somebody who, who just can't be there themselves for whatever reason, whether it's because they're sick or because they passed or you know, simply because they just can't make it. Um, so today, it looks like Georgia's getting honored at Cal Penn's National Battlefield. So this 237th anniversary of the Battle of Cowpens, an incredible battle. Some would argue uh, it was the defining point in the American Revolution. You know, and I, and I have to say that every time I, uh, I, I go to a site, I have to believe that about each one of the sites. Whether it was an American victory, a Patriot victory, or it was a resounding defeat of the Patriot Army. So many of these places are, are the turning points of the American Revolution. And sometimes we get hooked on that. Sometimes we get stuck on our place, right? That one story that maybe it's in our backyard or maybe it's the, the battle where one of our ancestors might have fought. And to us, that's the most important part of the entire movement. And we lose sight. We lose sight, really, then, of, of what it was really all about. And this patriot spirit that was developed, the movement to, to bring about this freedom, these many freedoms that we now enjoy today. So I would ask you, and I know sometimes people are like, well, yeah, but you don't know what you're talking about, Slaughter. It is the most important part. If it wouldn't have happened, then this wouldn't have happened, and then this wouldn't have happened, and then that wouldn't have happened, right? And it's easy to get stuck in that. But I'm going to tell you the success, specifically, of the Southern campaign of the American Revolution depends on us owning the entire story, the entire movement of the Southern campaign. Every one of those sites, whether it's Kettle Creek or whether it's, you know, whether it's, uh, 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 it, well, any, any of the sites, Musgrove Hill. <laughs> right. Well, why don't you all help me out? Who's got, who's got one? Jay Bray. Blackstock. Right? They're all part of this bigger story, you know, and if we can't enjoy and celebrate the completeness of the Southern Campaign of the American Revolution, we'll get lost in the single place. And then, and then, and, and I'll tell you, I think that's why America doesn't know this story, is because we haven't taken the time to own the larger story. We're so focused, because it's so important for us to get our pin on the map, our story in front public, that we're willing to do that at the sacrifice of the entire story, and ultimately then the sacrifice of the American Revolution. We have an incredible opportunity in just a few short years to celebrate the 250th anniversary, right, of the founding of our nation. Well, during that time, very similar to our bicentennial in 1976, if we don't take this side of the American Revolution, the Southern Campaign that happened at the back end, you know, four, five, six years later, and we don't celebrate that on the front end, 
at, at the 250th anniversary, do you think people are still going to be interested in the American Revolution four years later? It's going to be hard. We're going to be shit, dude. Did I just do that? Well, here's, here's, the, here's the reality. Here's the reality. It's just a part of the story that nobody knows. America doesn't get it. They don't understand it. It's our duty and our responsibility to take that to the rest of our connection to it. How many of you, and I, I know I've seen a ton of hands go up, how many of you have no connection, no ancestral connection to the American Revolution or somebody who fought there? No, Ameri no, no ancestral, no heritage connection. Your, your, your people were indigenous here or came over on the Mayflower. The connection is important for us to connect to who we are as, as Americans. And no, there's no more necessary time than right now. It's history. You can't change it. You can't rewrite it. It is what it is. We need to celebrate the fact that each of us has a contribution and each of our ancestors have had a contribution to that, good or bad. It's part of who we are. So it's because of that that I'm uh, always excited and extremely um, honored to be a part of the sons of the American Revolution, the daughters of the American Revolution, the children of the American Revolution, the sons of the Revolution, the Order of the Cincinnati, all of the, all of the different organizations that are part of Washington Light Infantry, I think we have here today as well, all the different organizations that celebrate who we are as Americans and who our ancestors were as Americans. So thank you for that, and I'd like to introduce I'd like to introduce President General Larry Guzzi to come up and give you a, a couple of remarks about where the Sons of the American Revolution are going and the, um, his, his direction and vision for the Sons of the American Revolution. President General. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Come to the Calpins. Meet me at the Calpins. This is exciting. This is probably the 20th year that I've been to the Calpins. And it is always just this beautiful. Well, actually, sometimes it's worse. <laughs> it's why we come. And if you think that you're cold, imagine not having these clothes, these warm shoes, these hats, <coughs> stuffing straw in your clothes to keep warm and fighting a battle at the same time. Think about that. That's why we're here. This is exciting. And as John said, it is our shared heritage of being Americans. This is what Americans are all about. Our founding is our common ancestor. So the sons of the American Revolution are, as the daughters are, having goals of establishing numbers for our 250th anniversary in eight short years. The daughters are looking to have growth up to 250,000 members from over about 180 at this time. The sons are looking for about 64,000 members, up from about 37,000 at this time. We can do this because we want our American citizens to know that they have heritage just as we do. So I'm excited to be here for the 20th time and look forward to coming back many, many more. Thanks. <laughs> I'd also like uh, at this uh, point in time, I think the issue with the, with the sound here is that this thing's kind of got this, it wants to uh, recognize when somebody's talking, so if you're not talking right into it, see how it kind of shuts off? Yep. I don't know what I'm talking about once again, but anyway. <laughs> I'd also like to recognize, if, if we would, any of the um, past pres president generals of the SAR, if you would just uh, please step forward. We have, we have two, it looks like, uh, President General Brock and President General Tommy. Any others in the audience? 
Okay, well, thank you for coming out and being a part of our celebration. At this time, we're going to go uh, through the wreath, uh, the wreath presentations. Now, um, this is always this is always kind of a uh, uh, controversial part, believe it or not. Um, there's a lot of protocol that goes along with this, and I usually can mess it up pretty good. And uh, and yet, there's also uh, this could in a, in a windy day like today, this could take forever. And so one thing that we found at uh, at uh, Kings Mountain, because the last two times it's been raining, we had everybody under a giant uh, giant tent, is that it really kind of keeps it going. If you don't want to come up to do, uh, to honor your, your chapter and your ancestor, to just stand up from where you're at and kind of raise your hand so I know where you're at and I can acknowledge you and do it from there. However, if you are going to come up, we're going to ask that you line up over here to my left, um, behind the Washington Colonel um, Carl over there with the Washington Light Infantry. Uh, if you line up over there, if you do want to come up and honor your ancestors. Now I'm going to keep this moving, all right? So I'm going to call you. You're going to come up while you're doing your honoring. I'm going to call the next name, all right? Please don't get too upset with me for that. Uh, and then if we if we do not if we do not capture your organization, if for some reason you didn't register or we didn't get it written down or whatever else, uh, at the very end, I will acknowledge, I'll ask anybody that hasn't been called to go ahead and come up and just let me know which chapter you're with and your name and we'll go ahead and acknowledge you then. Okay? Does that sound like a plan? Is everybody good with that? I noticed the seats just everybody emptied out. So that's just, we're, gonna, we're going to have a number of uh, folks honoring today. Um, with that said, the first the first wreath that we're going to present is going to be the National Park Service wreath. And the National Park Service wreath is going to be presented by our, our group chief of interpretation. And our uh, and one of our one of our rangers, our group chief, chief of interpretation, Vanessa Smiley, comes to us from Morristown this year, and um, and then Ranger Will Caldwell, who you may or may not know, but Will's been around here for a few years and does an outstanding job for us as well. So Rangers. Society of the Sons of the American Revolution, President General Larry Guzzi. Representing the children of the American Revolution, Rhiannon Hatcher, National Treasurer. Bobby Joe Seals. Arizona, Sons of the American Revolution. Warren Alter, 
He's also the National Society of Sons of the American Re uh, Revolution Secretary General. For the Georgia Sons of the American Revolution, Wayne Brown, President. The Maryland Sons of the American Revolution, David Hoover. The North Carolina Sons of the American Revolution, George Strunk, State President. The Virginia Sons of the American Revolution, Captain Patrick M. Kelly, first Vice President. South Carolina Daughters of the American Revolution, Diane Culbertson, State Regent. The North Carolina Daughters of the American Revolution, Robin Rutledge. South Carolina Children of the American Revolution, Catherine Smith, President, and Christine Burnett, Senior State President. South Carolina Sons of the Revolution, Tom Widener, President, Vice President. The Georgia Sons of the American Revolution, Ladies Auxiliary, Auxiliary Linda Reed. State chapters, Sons of the American Revolution state chapters from South Carolina, Daniel Morgan chapter, Dr. Alan Gamble, Vice President. Battle of Utah Springs chapter, James Rosdick. General Andrew Pickens chapter, J.D. Norris. General James Williams chapter, David P. Smith Jr., historian. The Matthew, I'm sorry. Governor Paul Hamilton, National Park Service. And we have been taking our time over the last couple of years to recognize the men and women of the National Park Service. And so I'd like to call Vanessa Smiley up. Is she okay? And then I got the President General come forward. Vanessa is new on staff here, and as you heard earlier, she is the Chief of Interpretation. And we would like to, on behalf of the National Society of Sons of the American Revolution, we would like to hereby award Vanessa Smiley a certificate of appreciation in recognition of the outstanding support given to the Sons of the American Revolution.
So at this point in time, I'm going to turn it over to Ranger Ginny Fowler. If you would, if you would, uh, face it back towards Code Guard in the back. Right above.
Why do we do this? Why do we process out to the, uh, to the Washington Light Infantry Monument? Washington Light Infantry Monument was a, a monument that was placed uh, out here in the middle of nowhere, really, uh, uh, 100 and about 150 years ago, and, uh, and it's still here. It represents where the battle was won, where the Battle of Calpens actually the double envelopment happened and the battle was won. So we always come out here and we celebrate this and we, uh, we, we have this uh, great opportunity. Again, another way to honor the patriots who fought here, honor the men who died here, honor ultimately all those who've ever fought and died or sacrificed for our freedom as Americans. It's also an opportunity for you to come out here and make a little bit of a connection to this site. That sometimes when you're out here on your own and you're walking the site, you'll walk right past this monument and never really take the time to stop and think about what really happened out here 237 years ago. And the fact that this place right here, men died so that we could be standing here today to be able to celebrate our freedom. So don't take it for granted. And uh, as I mentioned before, take the opportunity to get to know your heritage, whether you're first generation American or whether you're 10th generation American. Take the time to understand who you are and where you come from. Parents, take the time to educate your kids, even if it's just showing them a, showing them a photo from your great grandmother or your grandfather and telling them a story and passing down an oral, an oral tradition or an oral history. Take the time to do that. That's what thank takes the that's what passes along to the next generation. I want to thank you. I want to thank you. President Guzzi. Um, I'm going to give you a minute to, to talk. Um, but before we do that, you know, these uh, these live wreaths, they always are dropping flowers. And last year I got to give you a junior ranger badge, didn't I? You probably still have that, huh? I'll bet you do. Landon, um, this fell off while I was walking, I thought. You know that's gonna go. That's gonna go really good with Landon's with Landon's uniform. All right. So if you don't mind, thank you, Landon, for coming out again. I greatly appreciate it. All right. You can give me a thumbs up. Yeah, big old thumbs up. <laughs> President General Guzzi, thank you all for taking the time to celebrate this anniversary with us. Thank you. One last. Thank you.